My name is Aarti Sampat and welcome back to yet another episode. Today we're talking vegetables, Indian vegetables to be specific. Indian cooking at home is usually extremely simplistic. We're not eating thick, rich gravies every day. Those are just reserved for special occasions. How do we eat our vegetables every day? I'll show you how. Our first vegetable is gavar beans. Uh, they're also called cluster beans, the way they grow. Pretty much you can cook them like green beans or French beans. But I'll show you how we cook them at home. To get started, heat a pan to medium heat. We like using peanut oil but you can use any neutral vegetable oil, about two tablespoons. And I have some whole cumin seeds that I'm going to uh, splutter in this oil. Cumin seeds, they, they taste super nice and have this beautiful aroma that only gets released when you either dry roast them or you cook them in some hot oil or ghee. To start off our gavar beans, We'll start off by heating some oil. I'm using virgin coconut oil here, which you could use or also use a neutral oil. I'm about to sputter some mustard seeds. Once mustard seeds turn slightly pale in the oil, you know you're ready for the next ingredient. South Indians love using a little bit of gram or lentil. So I'm using urad lentils here, just about a tablespoon. We'll just allow it to cook for a minute until it gets nutty and brown. This acts like the crunch element to the beans. Once we're done with that, we have a red chili that I'll just crack in. Now you see all those uh, seeds just sputter, so just watch out. Once I added my chili, there in go my beans. Lower down the heat. This dish is called beans poriyal. Poriyal meaning a saute. So uh, you could saute any kind of greens in such manner. This should be done in about three to five minutes, depending on how you like your beans cooked. I like my beans to be slightly toothsome and soft, not overcooked at all. At this point, I'm adding some Himalayan salt. Just about to give it a taste. It could go for another minute. Gavar beans have definitely got this bitter undertaste, which is actually very tasty. You can offset that with a little bit of lime juice. Um, we are gonna add tons of coconut at the end to finish. So it's gonna have a little sweet finish at the end. All right, when the beans are almost ready, gonna finish it off with about a half a cup of coconut. Just fresh scraped coconut. You could also use some dried coconut if you like. Or if you're not into coconut, you could just leave it the way it is. And there, my first dish is ready. If you would like your beans to be a lot more tender, you could add a splash of water, put a lid on and cook them for a couple more minutes. But I like them toothsome, so I'm just gonna saute them and give it a taste. Mmm, the beans are so fresh. Uh, there's that nuttiness from the urad lentils, so much crunch, and of course that sweet coconut. It tastes absolutely delicious and divine. Now that we're done with our first vegetable, we'll move on to the next. These are ivy guard. They're also called tonli in Hindi. They belong to the squash family. So you can absolutely use any kind of summer squash, winter squash, uh, zucchini. I've snipped off the top and the bottom and I've cut them in quarters. Cooking tonli is another very simple recipe and we often use this method of cooking when we're doing different, uh, different vegetables. I'm using a little peanut oil, but you can absolutely use any neutral oil you please. I'm gonna crackle a little bit of cumin seeds. Cumin seeds have this beautiful nutty aroma 
and they only get released when you cook them in oil or you dry roast them. We have our ivy gourd that I've cut. You could do that with squash, any kind of squash. And once the oil is smoking hot and your cumin seeds are dancing all over, I'm adding my ivy gourd. To this, I add a pinch of salt. And now for some of my favorite ingredients, I'm adding turmeric powder right on top, a little chili powder. Here I'm using Kashmiri chili. It's got a lot of heat as well as color. Cumin powder that I roasted and ground and the same with coriander powder. I'm just about to use a splash of water to deglaze all those spices that have stuck to the bottom of the pan. And then you can cover with a lid and just let it steam for like a couple of minutes. And we'll come back and revisit this in about three minutes and see if it's tender. Let's check on our Ivy Guard. Just gonna add a squeeze of lemon. And I'm also using a little cilantro. And now our tonli is ready to eat with chapatis or you can definitely eat them with some rice. This is one of my favorite vegetables. I can't wait to dig in. Mmm. Still got a little crunch. It's definitely a reminder of zucchini. Uh, I love the, the little lemon at the end and all the spices shine. I can get little nuggets of cumin. It just tastes so divine. And that freshness from cilantro, mm, I'm gonna polish all this off. After our delicious tonli, now to our next vegetable preparation. We love vegetable stews and we like to cook them in just a few spices, herbs and some coconut milk. So for that, we have sweet potatoes and we have eggplant that I'm going to cook. Our sweet potatoes are very different from orange sweet potatoes. They're sort of that Japanese sweet potato. They're sweet, they have a lot of fiber so they keep you full. They're firm in texture. I really, really enjoy these. And they're even better when they're stewed. So let's get started. To get started, we have some virgin coconut oil, but you can use any neutral oil. To that, we add a few mustard seeds and we allow it to crackle. We have a few shallots that I've just cut in half. And then we like to add an entire sprig of curry leaf. And then the sweet potatoes that I diced and had them in oil go right in here. You just allow it to sear a little. We like to just sear the potatoes slightly. And just season as we go. So I'm adding a pinch of salt right here. We're just allowing the potatoes to sear slightly at the bottom. So there's a little bit of color and that increases the flavor. Right at this point, I'm also adding a slit green chili. You could also dice them if you want more heat, but this is a very mellow gravy. And what I also like to add, this is a little tip that I got when I traveled to Sri Lanka. I, I'm using a little bit of lemongrass and I have one smashed stalk of lemongrass that I'm adding in as well. Or you can see there's like, the potatoes are getting a little color. So at this point, I'm adding my baby eggplant that we got at the market the other day. The only real spice that goes in is turmeric powder. So healthy amount of turmeric powder. And then we'll add a little water. If you did notice, all of our dishes are vegan. But you can of course finish all your dishes with a little bit of clarified butter or ghee. So at this point, I'm adding some fresh chopped ginger. I'm adding a tiny piece of tamarind, but if you can't find tamarind, you can absolutely squeeze in some lemon juice right at the end. So we're gonna allow the vegetables to simmer and get soft and tender. This should take about 10 minutes. 
All right, let's check our eggplant and sweet potatoes. Oh my God, you just get that hit of ginger and that sweetness of the sweet potato, you can actually smell it. The best way to check is to see if your eggplant is tender. Oh yes, very tender. I'm just gonna finish this with a splash of coconut milk. Allow it to simmer for a minute. And now we're about to taste our eggplant sweet potato stew. Mm. That sauce is so light. It's got a slight sweetness because of the coconut milk. There's of course that earthy flavor from the mustard seeds, the turmeric, slight acidity from the tamarind. And those vegetables are perfectly cooked. The eggplant just melts in my mouth and so does the sweet potato. One of my favorite dishes and I hope you will try them. I hope you liked today's video. I hope you enjoyed how we cook our vegetables. I'm sure you're gonna try them and I hope you're no longer intimidated with Indian herbs and vegetables. We'll see you back in the next video. And if you like my video, please, please, please like and subscribe to Chef Aarti Sampath. Thank you.